right, so tonight we are having potato soup. It's one of my favorite recipes. I've looked for a long time for a good, kind of easy, kind of homemade recipe. <laughs> and it's pretty much the easiest recipe that I know that gives you the best results. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make that. And I hope you enjoy. So you're going to start off with three to four peeled potatoes. I got my peeling in the sink. And we are going to cut them up into um, pretty small sizes. Okay, so now we're just going to cut them up into little bitty size pieces. And we're going to put them in our pot. Okay, these are the sizes that they should be. Just try to keep them all the same. That way they cook evenly. But it's kind of impossible when you have different sized potatoes. Okay, for this recipe you're also going to need um, a package of au gratin mix. Um, I just have the two pack, twin pack. And you're only going to use the powder. You're not going to use the potatoes inside. Um, and you're also going to have a can of chicken broth. This is just a 14 and a half ounce can. I don't think you use all the can, but I normally do just to cover up the potatoes. You're going to need a um, half a pint of heavy whipping cream. I have a pint just because this is what's left, left over from last time. And then you're going to need some sharp cut cheese for after it's all done. And we've got our potatoes all cut up. They're all kind of relatively the same size. It's not going to be perfect. But yeah, we're just going to cover it with water and our chicken broth and our au gratin mix and stick it on the stove. Okay, so I got my water. It's a cup and a half of water. We're gonna go ahead and put that in our potatoes. And then, oh, I gotta open this. Okay, then we're gonna pour our chicken broth in here. And this is a 10 and a half can, but I never find a 10 and a half can. So I just kind of fill it up, make sure that all the potatoes are covered. Yeah, pretty much the whole can. All right, then we're gonna get it on the stove. Oh wait, we gotta also add our broth. Oh, nope, there it is. Okay, we got our um, mix mixed in, and it looks a little chunky, and it's okay. It's gonna all cook out. But we are gonna cook it on like medium heat. I've got it on like five on my stove top. But um, the recipe calls for like cooking it for 30 minutes, but I've noticed that it really doesn't take that long. It takes maybe like 15, 20 minutes. So we're just gonna cover it and let it cook for a while and I'll come back and mix it every once in a while. Sword fighting in the background. Like that's what you hear lots of yelling. <laughs> the kids, I mean, the kids and kids. <laughs> but it's starting to get, um, you can see the potatoes are starting to get smaller and they still feel a little bit too hard, so we're gonna let them cook a little bit longer. Okay, so this is pretty much what it looks like when it's done. You can see it's really thick um, and the potatoes are a little bit smaller. But what you're going to do is you're going to take it off the heat and then you're going to put in your um, your half pint uh, heavy whipping cream. And stir it all up together and you want to serve it immediately after you do that because the heavy whipping cream is cold. So it's going to cool down your soup pretty quickly. Okay, so this is pretty much what it looks like after you put the heavy whipping cream in and now you are ready to serve it. Y'all are so loud. <laughs> Here you guys, our potato soup. And you just dress it with some cheese and um, dress it. I don't know if that's really the right word. You put cheese on top. How about that? And I um, hope you guys like it. We really like it. We have it a lot during the fall and the winter time. It just goes with a cold winter day. Um, Is it good? Cheese. Oh. Cheese. You like it, Ella? Mm -hmm. But it's hot though. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh. Bye bye! I'm dripping that one. Uh, yeah, that's
that's why he's naked. <laughs>